Well, hey, y'all, thanks for all your comments. Uh, many of you noticed that I wasn't feeling good while I was doing this, this hike, and so a lot of you reached out and was concerned about my health. I was having some health problems. If you wait around to the end of the video, I'm going to share some about those health problems and maybe some tips on how you can prevent from getting into a health crisis. Well, good morning. We just hiked up out of the holler on day three. We're here at mile marker 70 and uh, another eight miles today to the next campsite. So a little overcast, but a warmer day to start off with. But there's Don down there. Hey, <laughs> minding my own business. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's a good place to mind it. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. So let's keep on going. Okay, we got a bit of a challenge here, trying to figure out this river crossing. And uh, the trail is right over there. But we got to get across all this. Don's out there looking at it. I'm sort of thinking, go right across of where Don's at to where then get up and sort of walking towards because that, that bank over there slopes up better than anything else. All the other banks are extremely sharp. So uh, that's what I'm sort of thinking. It's real deep down in there. Well, believe it or not, we got across. We came from right over there, came across these rocks, got in the water in that one spot right there, came across, got up here on these rocks, and then came on around, came out on the bank right here. Uh, really, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I just We didn't know how slick the bottom would be. The uh, current looks like it's flowing, and it is flowing good, but this is one of those places that I've I'd have been here by myself, I wouldn't have done this, but uh, to be here with Don, then the two of us, we could sort of watch it for each other. One of those things to always think about, you know, don't, don't uh, take risks unnecessarily. Well, now it's time to head on toward the next stop. Let's go, Don's up there, itching, he's ready to go. <laughs> this is our second crossing of the... Lewis Prong and uh, get our feet wet again but we don't have to worry so much about the current like we did on the last one. But we've just gotten dry now we in it again. Oh yeah this is so much easier. A little deep, knee, knee deep, not bad. Don coming from. A lot of water. Very pretty. We had several wet crossings today. Got one more here. It's really nice though.
Well, to be honest, it's been a bit of a challenge. My stomach is just not doing well. And uh, it's one of those times when, like Don just said, the trail's not going to hike itself. So you just start to, to go out and pace yourself. We have about four miles left today. That'll give us a short five to seven tomorrow. And that's okay. I just go slow, not trying to do a fastest known time, but sure. You know, I have to say, if I'm not going to feel good, what a beautiful place not to feel good. <laughs> the end of day three getting ready to turn in um, you know been a beautiful beautiful hike so many waterfalls and so much water uh, had to go through several wet crossings today but that's okay it was wonderful and uh, but now I'm going to turn in for the last night out here on the Ozark Highlands Trail for me and uh, I will see you tomorrow morning as we continue on finishing out under the last oh six miles or so all right good night stay safe stay healthy stay on the path god bless you it is the last day on the trail uh, we've been going up for the last oh 30 40 minutes about six tenths of a mile and it was steep up and then took a little break and now going down and it's been a steep down as well but starting to level out just a little bit got should have about two miles of descent before we hit the next up the only big obstacle for the day I think it's the Mulberry River we'll have to cross that and uh, this is about five miles to finish this up. So, as we get along, I'll bring you back from time to time to let you see what I'm seeing. I wish I, wish I could uh, do more. Yesterday we went through a patch of honeysuckles and uh, oh, the smell was just so sweet. And I was wishing that some way that I could share the smells with you. Some ways I would like to share the the sweat equity with you because not sure that anybody can appreciate what these mountains can do. But they're a challenge. Alrighty, well got another big descent here. Turn you off, bring you back when uh, when we're done. Oh, pond, swamp area, smell of skunk. Hope we don't trap and find him. Almost to Mulberry River. See how that crossing's going to be. Cold? Cold? Careful. There we go. Now 
we got to climb up out of this. Well, it's important to be aware of your body and, and listen to what your body is trying to tell you. When I started this hike, I was dizzy, um, just really wasn't feeling too good that very first day and thinking that, well, I would walk it off, right? And so I started out and at lunchtime, I tried to eat part of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I just got sicker. And for three days, I could not eat. And when you're going through these mountains, the ups and the downs, you are burning a lot of calories. And with a lot of calories being burnt, I wasn't taking any calories in. I did ensure that I was hydrating and I drank a lot of water, used electrolytes. So I stayed hydrated, but when it came to calorie intake, I just didn't have any. And each day I could feel myself getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And finally on that last day as we were hiking out, uh, it was a, an up pretty much the whole way as we were going out that last, oh, five, six miles. And I just was drained because I had no calories in. Now, I'm a diabetic, and I control it with diet and with exercise. Hiking is a major player on how I stay healthy. But I think what happened was that my sugar tanked at the very beginning when I was dizzy it was an indication of my sugar being too low. I ate a bunch of jelly beans uh, to try to get that quick energy, that those, those fast carbs, and I think I overdid it. And then my sugar went up. And when I got home, the first thing I did was test my sugar, and it was very high. Um, so you need to be careful when you go out. Honestly, um, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have came off the trail. Don't think so. I'm glad that I finished it, but it has taken me nearly nearly 10 days to recover from that episode. And uh, I'm about 100% now. I feel much better now than I did, and I do appreciate everybody's concern. But what I'm trying to say is as you're out, regardless, whether you're hiking long hikes or you're just doing something around home, be aware of your health conditions and take care of yourself. All right. Well, till next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay on the path, and God bless you.